In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at this 16 inch Ego chainsaw. We're gonna be unboxing it, uh, showing you all the different features and putting it through some testing. And then ultimately I'll give you my final review, helping you make an informed choice if you're looking for a new chainsaw up next. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Today we're gonna to be taking a uh, kind of in-depth look at the 16 inch Ego Chainsaw. This is the latest model from Ego. First, let's start with the unboxing to show you what comes with it. So let's take a look at the information on the box. This is the Ego 16 inch cordless chainsaw. This is the Power Plus chainsaw. Model number is CS1613. And uh, this particular box comes not only with the cordless chainsaw, but it also includes the uh, four amp hour battery and charger. You'll see here we've got the 40 cc's of power and the 220 cuts per charge. And you'll see on the back, uh, talks a little bit about the Arc Lithium 56 volt battery. So this is the same battery that powers 50 plus tools uh, lawn mowers, I've got a trimmer, all sorts of uh, other videos I've done on other power tools. This uses the same battery system. Let's take a look at everything that comes in the box. So starting us off, we've got all of our manuals. Here's our four amp hour battery. So we see if it has any charge. Comes with a little bit of charge. Comes with our battery charger. And then we've got our chainsaw. That's everything in the box. Let's get the plastic wrap off. And here is the chainsaw itself. So let's take a closer look at the chainsaw. I'm gonna pull the sheath off. Uh, we've got our guide bar and our chain that's on the guide bar. Our oil tank is gonna go, or is gonna be right here. So I can just turn that to get access to the tank. It's a, a frosted window, so as you add oil, you can see the level in the tank. You'll see a little, uh, it says minimum, the minimum amount of oil that you're gonna need. On this side, this is our side cover, and you can open this up, giving you access to uh, the chain by just flipping out this green little handle and we're gonna turn it counterclockwise. That's gonna loosen up this cover. And the cover pops off. We'll just put that down. You can see the chain. Uh, you can see the guide bar. So now you've got full access inside. If you have to clean this out, if you have to adjust or, or do uh, any type of maintenance to the chainsaw. So the uh, chain tension knob is gonna be right here. Uh, counterclockwise to loosen the chain up. Turn it clockwise if you wanna tighten it. And there's little indicators. I like all the indicators all over the chainsaw, just kinda of telling you exactly what you need to do, kinda of self-instructions. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. Tinker is our little hidden robot, and he briefly pops up in all the videos on this channel, including this video. So be the first person to spot Tinker popping up in this video and give me the correct timestamp that is the amount of time into this video that he pops up. And if you're the first person to let me know that down in the comments section below, I will put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page, as well as give you a shout out in one of our future videos. So before using the chainsaw, you wanna make sure you are putting a good amount in the oil reservoir of some sort of bar and chain oil. You don't necessarily have to use Ego bar and chain oil. You can go to your local hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, get yourself uh, bar and chain oil. It can really be any brand and then go ahead and add that to the oil reservoir that's gonna be on the side of the chainsaw. So the four amp hour battery that comes with it just slides right into the side and then we are good to go. Uh, you've got your safety that's up top here. So if this is pushed forward, I actually get a little red indicator telling me that this isn't gonna go anywhere when pushing the buttons. As soon as this is pulled back, this thing is ready to go. So to engage the uh, chainsaw, if you've got the safety pulled back, this is to protect your hand. Uh, go ahead and push this green button that's on the side. And then once you pull the trigger, if you've got the battery connected, it's gonna be live. So let's take this out and test it with some of the uh, tree limbs, logs, all sorts of stuff that I have laying around just to put it to the test and see how it cuts. Ah! 
So here's an example of the cut from the uh, chainsaw. So we're gonna test out cutting this piece of pine. I would say this is pretty close to about eight inches in diameter. And there you go, very easy cut. There you go. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty good. Over a foot there in diameter. At some point, your uh, chain is going to get dull, and if you need tips or want to check out this cool tool that I use to sharpen my chainsaw, it'll be linked down in this video description as well as popping up in the cards here. So let's talk about my experience using this Ego chainsaw. Uh, I used it uh, for several hours in my backyard. I have just under an acre of land, and uh, with all of that land we have tons of trees tons of twigs now, i have to say it's very convenient being able to just pop the batteries in and out of the side of the chainsaw uh, it comes with a four amp hour battery now in my usage i was only able to get about a half hour of cutting time out of that battery now i own all sorts of other ego products so i have a ton of batteries so once that battery died for me it was just a matter of popping it out popping another one in but if this is your first ego power tool and you're just going to have that one battery just know that you're going to be limited in the amount of time it's advertised that you're supposed to get around 220 cuts uh, during the life of the battery before it runs out of power and I will say I wasn't just cutting twigs and small limbs I was you know cutting giant pieces of wood uh, that were in huge diameter that was taking a ton of power so I'm sure that really drained the battery um, but just know that I would suggest you have multiple batteries when using this chainsaw otherwise you're going to have to take a break to recharge that battery it's anywhere I think from a half hour to an hour if you are enjoying this video take a second smash that like button as it helps out this video as well as this channel so we have this willow tree and a couple of the uh, limbs of it broke off and it's been sitting it's it's uh rotted a little bit but it's been such a big diameter i haven't been able to cut through it so let's see if we can get through it so as you can see it's able to cut even through that now granted this wood has been sitting so it's softer it's uh, kind of rotted but it made short work of that giant piece so overall would i recommend this chainsaw i gotta tell you i am extremely happy with this chainsaw i was able to get a ton of yard work done in uh, just a couple of hours and i was amazed at the amount of power that the chainsaw had cutting through all the different pieces of wood cutting down different uh, trees and small twigs and stuff that i had as well as the larger pieces i would recommend this chainsaw um, i almost would go out and buy another one because it is so convenient have two people cutting down uh, doing double the amount of work i want to let you know that i picked this chainsaw up during the holidays and on black friday they were running deals I've noticed that Ego uh, typically tends to discount some of their products around different holidays during the year. So if you don't immediately need one of these, it may be worth it to wait uh, to see if you can find some of that discounted pricing. I'm gonna leave more information about this chainsaw as well as any of the products and things I've talked about or was showing you in this video down below so you can get more information. So I'm interested to know what are your thoughts about this 16 inch chainsaw. Let me know down in the comments section below. I've reviewed all sorts of other Ego products on this channel. Lawnmowers, the uh, Ego Power Station, they all use the same battery system that powers the chainsaw you saw in this video. So you'll definitely want to check those out. 
You can also check out the pole saw review that I've done, which works with the multi-tool system. Very convenient if you are trying to cut down branches that are too high to be able to reach without going up on a ladder. You're going to want to check out this pole saw as it's going to reach up very high and save you a lot of work from having to climb up ladders and things to get higher branches. So that video will also be linked down below. My name is Jeff, and as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.